All right, so hi, how are you doing today? Hi. All right, all right. How did we meet today, you and I? Uh, at a laundromat. I, I was <laughs> walking out the tour and you came up and walked up to me and asked me if you can ask me some questions. Absolutely, absolutely. Do you remember the topics that we're going to cover today? Do you remember uh, those? You said mental health and something else. So feet and reflexology. Okay. Got those? Let me hear, let me ask you this. When you hear the word feet, what's the first thing you think about? What goes through your mind first? The very first thing. You said feet, right? Yes, ma'am. Like, <laughs> feet. Yes, like ma toes and, yep. you know, heels and, yep. you know. All that. Yeah. What, is that what you think about? So you yes. think about all those encompassing? Right. Okay, cool. Today we're going to ask you a couple questions. Um, it'll be your thoughts about how you feel about the subject of feet. Just feel free to answer however you like in those moments, okay? Okay. What about mental health? When you hear that term, is there anything that comes to your mind immediately? Like, do you think about anything? Um, mental health, right away, that's someone that with a disability okay yeah okay cool today we're going to talk a little bit about like basically how you handle stress like different things that you do maybe coping mechanisms or stuff like that just if you feel free to like in that moment just kind of answer however you like okay and then in terms of reflexology is that something you've ever heard of before no that's okay. why i'm like i'm kind of like curious okay. like what you're gonna ask me so don't worry so i'm gonna give you information today about reflexology you could just tell me what your thoughts are about it once i kind of give you the information okay. sound good okay. and you might have heard of it already it might be something that you've heard of or maybe you just don't In recognize the term, term. exactly yeah. exactly okay. so we'll give that to you today and you can just tell me how you feel about it okay. sound good sounds great all right so let's start with the first question how do you think we can improve mental health awareness like throughout the world? What are some things you think we could do to like kind of bring more awareness to it? Um, I'm going to speak for myself. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I went through that myself. Oh, okay. So um, I think people that have actually been through it, those are the people that need to help the people that's going through it. Because, yeah. okay, yeah, you can go see a therapist, you know, a psychologist and all of that stuff. Yeah, but have they gone? through what we've gone through, yeah. you know, personally to get to that point of mental health, you know, mm -hmm. the stress, the depression, the schizophrenia, you know, yep. all of that stuff. All the so, different things that you can get in there. Right. Yeah. So the people that overcame the mental health, those are the ones I feel that should be the ones speaking for telling their stories, right, telling their stories, giving their examples. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. That's, that's pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that like, kind of like what you said, right? Sometimes you can go see somebody and they'll yeah. give you a lot of things that they're giving the same advice to like a lot of people, right? right? Each person is different in terms of how they like deal with different experiences, right? Absolutely. Right. Um, the world would be better if, like in your opinion, just fill in the blank. The world would be better if um, everyone stops hating everyone. Mm, love it, love it. Yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of that going on. Um, a lot of mass shootings happening recently, like all over the place. You got, you know, different people hating on people who, um, may you know be of a different you know background in terms of like what they what they believe in or what they identify with right. so like just different things like that like you're absolutely correct with that that's a good one um if a friend or a loved one was struggling with depression or anxiety what is some advice you would give them um give them the advice that i found myself okay so, you know just let them know it's gonna be all right let mm -hmm. them know you know there's no need to stress over a situation you can't control exactly you know so you just have to like try to deal with it day by day, day, by day. You know, you got to keep, you got to keep focused on what you're doing in life and not focused on the problem itself. Absolutely, absolutely. Because otherwise you like start going down this like rabbit right, hole. You go down in the, in the hole. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, what are some things that bring you anxiety? Um, and then what steps do you take? You don't have to go to in depth, but just maybe more of a surface level answer. And then what steps do you take to like, kind of like, you feel it happening in the moment. What do you do to like, kind of get out of that? Um, I have kids, so okay. I think about my children, I think about their future, mm -hmm. so I, like I said, I don't focus on the problem no more itself, I yeah. focus on what's to come, you know, yeah. so that's how I kind of get out of any type of jam in my life. Okay, that's dope, that's dope. Um, if you could change one thing about yourself, right, it doesn't have to be something physical, but just maybe in general, maybe a behavior or something, what is something that you would change? Eating. Eating? <laughs> Eating. So is it like more of a control thing, like just being able to like know how much, or is it just like? It's like, I mean, I know I'm not big, big, but yeah. I just eat. I love food. Yeah, like, I, love I mean, there's a lot of great foods out there, man. It's a lot yeah, of great it's foods. A, it's man. a habit with food and, and drinking soda. So got yeah. it, got it. Um, when I think about my feet, I feel. How do you feel? 
I love my feet. You I love your feet. I got my feet done yesterday. But oh, yeah, you gotta take care of your feet as a woman. You have to take care of your feet. Absolutely. Well, I say as a guy too. Well, yeah, as a guy, because so, it tells a lot. You know, it tells a lot. Hundred percent. So we got a lot of guys out here who don't take care of them. We wear shoes that's too small, and then you look up and feet all crossed up and all that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, let me ask you this. Have you ever received compliments about your feet before? Has anybody ever complimented you about that? Okay. Let me ask you this. When you got a compliment about that, right? What was your feeling? What did you think in those uh, moments? Uh, it made me feel good because he said, you know, I said, I, he, he walked up to me. He said, you got some nice feet. And I said, thank you. He said, I can tell that you take care of yourself because I can tell, what do you say? I can tell um, your feet are clean. And I, that says a lot about, about a woman, how she carries nice. herself. Yeah. Nice. That's really dope. That's really dope. Um, how would you feel if a man gave you a compliment about your feet? Uh, you know, it, like I said, it'll make me happy. Like, you okay. brighten up my day. Absolutely. Yeah. How would you feel if a woman gave you a compliment about that? The same way. Like, okay. oh, thank you. So there's n there's not a difference in how you feel about, like, the two different, like, the two parties? Different like, sexes. yeah, yeah. You feel the same the way. Same way. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Um, what are some things that, like, you like to be complimented about? Like, if you get a compliment about that, you're like, man, that really makes my day. It makes me feel good. What are some things like that for you? Uh, Face, yeah, yeah. You know, just those things. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's really dope. What what's one quality you would want in a potential partner? Something that like you think is like I like I gotta have that. He has to do this or, or she has to do what what are some things for you? Understanding. Understanding. Yes. Okay. I think that that's a to me that's a big one, right? Um because I'm even like with my girlfriend, I'm still trying to like there's certain things like you can never fully know something about somebody, right. but as the journey goes along, learning those new things and like how does that align with like what I think and what I believe and like how do you get to that like medium with each other, right? Absolutely. Um, how often do you get pedicures? Uh, okay. Do you have a favorite color like that? It's a go-to color for you. Uh, no, I try to go. You mix it up. Yeah. Is it? Do you do that based on like kind of what you're feeling in the moment, or if you're going somewhere, yeah. or something like based that? On, yeah, based on how I'm feeling. Or based if I know like what I'm gonna be doing within that week. Got it, got it. So something that might match your attire or right. something like that. Cool. Um, have you ever heard of a medical pedicure before? No. Okay. So medical pedicure is like when you go to a podiatrist. It's like a specialist of the foot. Um, basically, they'll take a look at your feet to like make sure like your toenails grow correctly. They make sure your toe alignment is good. Um, they'll check for like dead skin fungus and they do all the work there with like medical grade equipment. What would your thoughts be on like? Going to see somebody like that who can give you like more insight into your feet, like kind of not as cosmetic, but like telling you what's going on there. How would you feel about that? I mean, I think that'd be a good idea because I think sometimes, like when we do go to the salon as women and men too, I think sometimes the products they may use may not be something that we're actually supposed to be using, you mm -hmm. know, on our feet. But I mean, I think I think that's that that'd be good for a lot of people to do that. Nice. And you just gave me an idea. Like, oh, there, yeah. <laughs> so when I go out and do this, this is kind of like what I do because actually a lady gave me this information and I was just like, wait, what? And then I, I went and had the experience done and it was, oh man, it's amazing. Right. And they don't do colors or whatever like that, but they do like a clear coat that like kind of like, like make sure if it right, like looks just like a little shiny, look, just exactly. made a little shiny. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, how often do you wear open toe shoes, like sandals and flip flops, things like that? Uh, Every so often, especially during the summer. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, I like to shove my feet. Got it. Got. I mean, you're out here in the morning time. It's, it's, it's cold, a little cold. Yeah, you out here got feet. the got the toes out. Everything absolutely. Um, how often do you go barefoot? No shoes. Uh, I don't like. I have to have shoes. All, shoes or socks. Okay. Like if I'm at home and I'm walking around, either my slippers or socks. If I'm out, either sandals or okay. my like socks. Yeah. I is it is it something like in terms of like like the ground? You know, like like the the feeling of dirt and debris and yeah, stuff like that. Underneath absolutely let me ask even you this like one of the shoes that i have on now yeah like my mother taught me to always carry wipes with me and wipe the bottom of my feet like, man, that's dope like, man you stay on top of it man <laughs> <laughs> let me ask you this like have you ever heard of earthing and grounding before does that sound familiar uh, to you no all right so earthing and grounding is like when you go barefoot in grass dirt sand it's like um what people do it's like almost a meditative type thing okay. right so it's like let's say you had a long day at work you're like man day's been hard whatever like that this is something you can do just like going out maybe in your front yard, standing in grass. And what you do in those moments is you just focus on what you're feeling in that moment. You don't focus on like what happened at work or what's happening in the next couple hours. It's just like right now I, I, I kind of feel the grass is soft, it's, it's nice and whatever like that. And it's supposed to help you like kind of unclog like some of that mental space that can lead to like stress and things like that. What are your thoughts on maybe trying something like that? Like if you were like feeling overwhelmed or something like that? I mean, that's 
that sounds like something nice, like to put your feet, like sand. I mean, put your feet in sand, like yeah, people yeah. do that because they go to the beach yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. But I mean, I don't like. I think I'll do that. Like, yeah. I think that's probably therapeutic, you know. Might help yeah. you out, absolutely. That that might be some advice to give to somebody too if they're right. feeling overwhelmed or whatever like that. All right. All right, so now in this moment right now, can we see what your feet look like? Uh yeah. <laughs> like okay. yeah. Cool, cool. All right, so first of all, tell me real quick, what size shoe do you wear? Uh I'm uh what's this say? Eight. Does it's normally a seven and a half, but based seven on the half. shoes, yeah, it's sometimes I have to go eight. A little bit bigger women, yeah. for that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me have you put both of them down flat so you can see. And I like the tattoo that you got there. What is Thank the you. meaning behind that? It was actually my son's father's name, but I got it covered. Oh, okay. So he's like, I'm going to go with some flowers or whatever like that. All right, yeah. nice. Let me have you kind of take your feet off the sandals. All right, cool. And then if you can, uh, let me actually have you put your feet here. Oh, if you can. <laughs> You put your feet up here, like kind of like, yeah, it's all good. Don't worry. And then put the other one. All right, cool. All right. So let me ask you this. Like, first of all, um, let me kind of give you some compliments real quick. I see you have great toe alignment. Your toes go from big to small, right? Yeah. Kind of like in a, like an angle. angle yeah, right? like, like so I, I don't know if you know what that's called. They call they have like different types of toe alignments. This is called the Egyptian toe alignment. So. Okay. You might have had some like Egyptian heritage or something like that in your family. I don't know, I don't but know. <laughs> it might be there. Um, if your second toe is bigger, they call that the Grecian toe alignment. It's like a Greek toe. So okay. kind of some things look out there. But it looks like you have very nice soles too. Um, not bad. Let me ask you this. How are you feeling? We met a couple minutes ago. I'm kind of talking to you about these different <laughs> subjects. How are you feeling in the moment? Uh, I feel like weird but you're giving me like some information absolutely so. <laughs> let me kind of get you the mental health like what got me started in this kind of maybe it'll make sense as we go along okay? okay um so during quarantine i was watching another guy's channel right he was talking about exposure therapy have you ever heard of that before no so exposure therapy is for let's say in certain situations or scenarios people may feel uncomfortable right they're like man i go to theme parks all the time but i'm not going to get on the rides because they make me feel like you know frightened or whatever it may be right mm -hmm. Let's say you did want to go on that, but that's that feeling you always have, right? What therapists will tell you to do is go out, right? You do that over and over and over again. With the mind thought being that the more you do it, right? You're going to learn to become more comfortable with it. Like you don't fully ever get over it, but you'll be like, I understand what's going to happen in this moment, but it's only going to be a brief moment that that's going to happen. After that, I'll be fine, right? So when I kind of heard about that, I'm like, I've been a chronic overthinker my whole life. Like I overthink situations like crazy, right? <laughs> And I was like, I want to get better at like, not every situation requires me to put so much thought into it. Like sometimes it's just make a decision, live with what happens right. and, you know, go on. Right. On, yeah. So I was like, I had an idea. Let me create a channel on YouTube dealing with exposure therapy. Right. Because this is the exposure part. Right. Okay. It's like some people don't always feel comfortable. Some people have like negative connotations about feet. They feel weird about it, whatever it may be. So I want to ask women who I just met, like, I don't know you. We've, we've never I met before. Never, yeah. How would you feel? Because like you have a lot of women who become like foot models, things like that. Those are like popular things now. Yeah. How would the average woman who I just like walk up to, how would she feel about that? Can she be comfortable in the moment? Like we've been having a conversation. Does that comfortability continue? Do you get to the point where you're like, oh, that's kind of uncomfortable. And then why is that uncomfortability there? Like what, what is the reason for it, right? Um, so yeah, I go out, I get different like types of reactions. Some women are like, cool, they're completely open. Some women are like, uh, I don't really know what to think. And then some women are like, nah, I'm not doing that. But my whole point of my channel is to show those reactions so that I can get like a more positive conversation around feet so that people don't have to feel so weird about it. Or like that. What are your thoughts about that? Kind of how do you feel about like my channel and how it's coming about? I mean, your channel like used to like randomly walk up to people yeah, yeah. to get people's, <laughs> people's thoughts. I mean, I think that's a lot of people do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people just go up to people and, and ask questions and stuff. Um, for you to do it to me, I mean, I'm like, shoot, right now, I got nothing but time because I'm at the laundry. Exactly, we're at the laundry, right? right? So I'm Absolutely. Like, okay, so I'll give you some information. I'll let you know my thoughts. And yeah, like, yeah. You know, not everybody's friendly. Not everybody. No, you know, not everybody. Right? I've, but, I've but, gone up to people and they're like, oh, absolutely not. Like, but it's like, I'm always glad to get people who are like open and like willing to kind of right. go through it. So let's talk about reflexology real quick and then we'll let you get up out of here. Um, reflexology, it's all about the different pressure points you have in your hands and your feet. You, you kind of heard of that before? Oh, now I heard of okay. that. Okay, so th those pressure points actually like will connect to like different parts of your body. So, so yeah. Exactly. So let's say like through a massage, through like acupuncture, acupressure, you can like alleviate stress and tension to various parts of your body. Like, let's say you're somebody who deals with migraines, right? There's actually a portion of your hands and feet to massage that alleviates the tension you feel in those moments. So that way you don't have to like all the time like go to medicine. Like I got to take 
an Advil for this. I got to yeah, take the Tylenol. You need to let me know that because I stay with my grandma. You stay with my Okay, so let me give you some examples real quick. Can you put your hands out real quick? Okay. All right, I'll do it this way. Like All right, this. cool. So right here, if you apply pressure here and massage like in a circular motion in that area, okay. you can use like essential oils if you want or whatever like that. But you want to do it on both hands, you'll start to alleviate that tension you're feeling. All right. Also on your feet. So if you kind of flex your toes up a little bit right here at the base of your big toe, right. applying pressure there, doing the same thing. Circular motion, applying that pressure will start to alleviate that tension you're feeling in those moments. So those are some tricks for you that you can do with that. Absolutely. So usually when we get to reflexology, we usually like to talk about sensitivity, right? How ticklish do you tend to be? Um, I'm only ticklish on my side. On your side? Yeah. When you get pedicures, you're never ticklish. No. All right. Do you mind if we kind of do like a little test to just kind of go over? I'm going to use a tool that I have in my bag. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, cool. Let me get you to kind of hold that for me. One uh, second. All right, kind of get this up. I just want you to tell me um, where you feel it at the most and which foot is more sensitive. Usually the one is more sensitive than the other. All right, cool. So grab that. That's going to tickle me. I'm like, that's yeah. going to tickle So just wait for it. You'll see. So they actually, <laughs> this is actually something that they use like when you go to like, um, Let's say you're somebody who might have like sensitivity issues, like you have no type of feeling in your feet. They'll use this to make sure because everything here connects back to your brain. So when they do this, you should feel it somewhere. If you don't, then there may be something wrong with the pressure. No, it'll be fine. Trust me. We're, we're going to start from bottom to top. Just tell me where you feel it at the most and which foot is most sensitive. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. All right. Where you feel this at the most? Is I mean, it here at the top? It, it's, like it's not as sensitive, right? But you, you do feel where you feel it at the most though. Is that the like, bottom, yeah, the middle? Like, like kind of like the So it's like side. right over yeah, here. Right okay, there. cool. Um, what would you say the scale is on a scale out of one out of 10? Um, I mean, that's like a three. Minimum? Three, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's try here. Tell me if this one is more sensitive, okay? Where are you feeling this one right. So right here bit, yeah. and there. Yeah. What is the scale on this one? Is this one more sensitive or less sensitive? Uh, no, about the same. They're about the same. Yeah. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to wiggle your toes while I'm doing You tell me if you feel it more or less. Let's start here. Wiggle. You feel it more or less? Uh, no, you don't feel it at all? No, it's the same. It's the same it's the when same. you're doing it? It should be less. Let's try here. Same still? Yeah. Should be less. So what happens here when you create movement, first of all, what happens is your mind is thinking about doing something actively, right? So it's like a distraction in a way. But also when you move your feet, it like moves the energy. That's what should be happening here. Okay. But for some reason, you still feel it the yeah, exact same. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, cool. Um, last thing I want you to do, we're going to work on some exercises with your feet. This is to like test flexibility and dexterity in your feet, okay? What I want you to do first, bend your toes, make a fist. Tell me if you feel pain, discomfort, cramping, anything like that happening. Um, like the stretch. So the stretch is like yeah. a little bit painful? Where is it, no, where is it painful at? No, it's not, not painful, okay. but it's just like a stretch. Oh, so it feels a stretch. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let me have you relax. Let me get you to spread your toes. You tell me if you feel pain, discomfort, cramping. Good spread. Good spread. Any cramping, anything happen? Okay, relax. The last thing I want you to do is wiggle your toes about 10 seconds. You tell me if you feel pain, any discomfort, any cramping. Just wiggle for about 10 seconds. Pretty standard. Nothing nothing too painful or nothing anything like painful. that. Okay, cool. All right, that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and put your feet down. <laughs> that was a nice gesture. Absolutely, there it is. Uh, so let me ask you this. First of all, wrapping up the interview, in terms of my approach, I came up to you. I'm like, hey, you down to do a quick interview with me. What did you feel my approach was like? Was it good? Was it bad? How did you feel about it? Your energy was, was I felt that. So it was oh. nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. In terms of the interview, right, from start to finish, could you see now kind of how the topics like kind of related, like as we were going along, did it make sense? Did you learn anything new from the information I, I provided? I did learn something new okay. about my feet. There it is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to look into that to see, you know, to try to go there and see what they Absolutely. probably can tell me about going to the salon, about, you know, getting stuff that I probably shouldn't be getting on my Yeah, feet. let me ask you this. Do you ever, because you kind of talked about dealing with migraines before, mm -hmm. right? You kind of get them. Do you ever go get massages? No, I just want to go see a neurologist. That okay. Was, I would I would suggest, too, going to get some massage done. Like, you can go, um, I know there's a couple places. There's one right here off of uh, Redondo. Where they give you, like, a, a shiatsu massage. Okay. But they'll target certain areas. You can tell them, like, hey, I'd like for you to, like, massage my feet or whatever like that. And they'll target those different areas in there. And they'll the create points. some relief for you. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe that might be something you might want to look into. Um, in terms of... Something you can say to my channel, right? Something that maybe you've learned in life, some advice that maybe somebody gave you that you can kind of leave with the channel to be helpful. Um, like what I learned from your channel? That's what no, 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 no. Something that you learned on your own. Like something um, that you can just share with us, like some advice or something like that. Um, I mean, I'm going to speak about the mental health. Okay. So anybody going through any type of mental health issue, you know, it's not permanent. It's not, it's not going to be there forever, you know? 
know, so you got to look for better days. It's day by day. Take mm -hmm. it, you know, one step at a time. Um, you're not alone. There's other people out oh, here. <laughs> There's so other people out here that's going through the same thing you're going through. I've been through what you've been through in life. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, just don't focus on what you're going through. Focus on what you want to accomplish in life and try to get there instead of focusing on the problem. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we thank you so much. We definitely appreciate you stopping and take this time with us. All right. And we hope that you have a great one. Okay. Thank you. You too. All right. <laughs>